So I'm not gonna lie to you, this dorm lighting is pretty on point. So hi everyone, I am currently coming to you from not my home, but my dorm room. I did a moving in video, which kind of has a dorm tour in it, but I do anticipate I'll be doing like a full here's my life, here's what my room looks like video. I promise it's coming soon. Today I'm just gonna be filming a video about the books that I'm bringing to college, or the books that I brought to college. I'm already here. So first of all, we're gonna talk about um, the most important three. I read the Shadow Me trilogy. Okay, I put them here as a joke, and I like kind of like it like that. I'd here, I'm gonna show you like zoomed out. This is the light that's above my bed, which is horrendously unmade. So I just keep them there, and it's been going great. They love it. Will they remain there? <laughs> Probably not. But I like it. I slept very well last night. And someone was like, Whitney, why didn't you bring Destroy Me and the other novellas? But I brought my Kindle, so I do have the novellas. So I have two books sitting on my nightstand right now, and one of them is Anne Frank's Diary of the Di hmm? The Diary of a Young Girl, which I am currently reading. And the second book I plan to start soon, which is Cut Both Ways by Carrie Misrobian. Let's get into this. I believe I brought just over 50 books. They all fit on this top shelf, which is supposed to be for your shoes, but I own like four pairs of shoes. So it was like, bookshelf! They are organized in no specific fashion. It's just like a hardback paperback. Other than like three books that I left at home or that didn't fit on here, it is every single book that I have not read that I own. Excluding Fangirl which I brought because I knew I'd be able to relate to it, which is very true because as we speak, I've not eaten in 17 and a half hours because I'm too scared to go across and eat at the dining hall. Let's talk about books now. I'm just gonna list titles because there's like 50 of them, so this goes by quicker. Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. The Diviners by Libba Bray. A Court of Thorn and... I do it every time. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. The Assassin's Blade by... Who? Sarah J. Mass. Did I say Moss earlier? Whoops. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab. Mr. Penumber's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, which glows in the dark. Let's test it. No, it's still too light in here. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adi. All the Bright Things by Jennifer Niven. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of David Lavender by Leslie Walton. People oh, just walked by. Say What You Will by Kami McGovern. I'm on the first floor, so I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Also, there's major paranoia that people next door can hear me. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. The Kiss of Deception by Mary A. Pearson. Mary E. Pearson. Excuse me. Code and Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Ink by Amanda Sun. Wait for You by Jennifer L. Armentrout or Jalen. Slammed and Maybe Someday both by Colleen Hoover. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by an author whose name I can't pronounce, so please let me know down below because it's been like a year and I still don't know. Room by Emma Donahue. 19 Minutes by Jody Picoult. End of Days by Susan E. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. The Kite Rider by Colette Hussini. How They Met in Other Stories, Are We There Yet, and Boy Meets Boy All by David Levithan. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Breakable by Tamara Weber. Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and Happily Ever After both by Stephanie Perkins. The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. The Martian by Andy Weir. Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by Kat Rosenfield. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. A book just fell on my foot. The Accident Season by Maria Foley... Moria Foley Doyle. Progeny of Gods by Jeffrey Storm. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I found the audiobook for this, so the only reason I brought it is just in case I decide to listen to the audio. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And finally, Jane Eyre by Emily... Yeah, Charlotte, dang it. Charlotte Bronte. And that is it. We are done. There's a books a million literally like a mile down the road and I made friends who will drive me there. Well, made friends, meaning I found people that I already knew from my high school and they said they had cars, so I was like, 
drive me to book civilian. Anyway, I hope that this is all right. I'll probably be filming somewhere else in my room for the rest of time because like my face is half lit by this and it's weird so don't expect this to be the setting every day thank you all so much for watching i hope you're looking forward to videos in my dorm look out for a dorm tour because it's coming soon thank you all for watching and goodbye